Hi everyone, this is Walker with Monday Scientific Instrument Service, and today I'm going to be going over how to install the software for your microscope camera. Now, in terms of acquiring the software, I have it downloaded right here, um, but your camera will either come with a flash drive in the box that contains the software, we'll send you a link to get the software, or we can direct you to the web page where you can download the software yourself. Now, I'm going to be downloading all three softwares for the three main brands of cameras we provide in this video. Um, but there will be timestamps in the description that will let you know where to go to download your particular software. So we're just going to start off in alphabetical order and we're going to download the Amscope camera software. So first of all, you just need to double click the software to launch. And then you're going to get a prompt that says uh, use your account control and do you want this app to make changes to your device. And then click yes. So once you click yes, you'll hit next. You're going to be prompted with this little thing, and you can sit here and read through this if you want. I read through it before, so we're going to go ahead and read into it. This is where you pick your destination folder. I think I'll leave this as the default, and you're going to hit install. It shouldn't take too long. It's a fairly basic program, so once it's in, it doesn't take much more than that. Go ahead and let it run. And this is pre-prompt, it's a preset to go ahead and launch the software. If you don't need to launch it right away, you can uncheck that. And then you hit finish. And now you see your Amscope software has been installed. And because we left that box checked, it's going ahead and launching. Now it did open up on my top monitor, but I'll drag the software down so you can kind of get an idea of what you're looking at. So this is just kind of the basic software, you know, your select your camera from list, everything like that. And um, we can give you a tutorial on how to do that later on. But this is just mostly covering how we install the software. Now continuing down the order, we're going to download the Cat Revision Plus. This is going to be the software you use for the Excellus cameras. Now, one thing we've noticed from the Cat Revision software is it tends to run into that Microsoft doesn't identify the software. Um, so all you do is click that little tab right there and hit run anyway. We've vetted this software before and it's safe to use and there's no reason that um, you should worry about it. Um, go ahead and hit yes to install when that prompt comes up and then we're going to click next. Now something that should be noted about this Cap Division software and the um, Mosaic software v2.4 right here for the Tuxen cameras. Um, <clears throat> number one, they both install the drivers for you for the cameras. But two, they require admin rights to run. So if your computer does not have dedicated admin rights on your system or your network, you're going to need to speak to IT or someone in management about getting this program set up with continuous admin rights. That way you don't run into issues launching your software. Now, this has gone ahead and download. This should take a couple more seconds. We'll hit finish. Now, this one does not prompt us to launch right away. And you'll notice the little shield right here. Um, that's indicating that it does require admin privileges to launch. So we're going to go ahead and click that twice. And then you see, we see Capture Vision AC Plus, And it's going to say, uh, you want to allow to make changes. You hit yes. Then it should only take a second. And the software should launch. Now it's going to ask you for biology or industry. I'm going to go ahead and select biology just because that's our most common use case. And for some reason it pops up down here, but give it one moment and here you go. Here's your basic user interface. Again, we're not going to have to use the software. We're just going to kind of clarify the installs. And it's going to ask you to close the window and you hit yes. Now, finally, we're going to do the Mosaic software. This is for the Tuxen cameras. Um, it actually even identifies it right there in the little prompt. So again, double click to launch. This one takes a little longer. Hit yes to enable when you get that little security prompt. And here we see this. Hit next. Again, with the default location installed. And this does again do the software and the camera drivers, which is very handy because once you plug in your camera, it's already set and ready to go. So to go ahead and extract the install files and get everything set up for you. Just takes a couple of seconds once it's installed. And we hit finish and we see that our software has been installed. 
Let's go ahead and double click this to launch. It's going to take a couple seconds. And now you see, you do get a security alert. That's because uh, it's going to block some free features. Um, you can allow access on public and private network, however you feel. I'm going to go ahead and allow access again because uh, we've used this before and vetted it, and it's um, perfectly fine software. So I'm going to click here. Oops, see, it's just frozen up for just a sec, probably because it's in the install process. Okay, and that's finished up. And then again, You'll notice we're also given a biology and history selection here. We're going to click biology again because that's just pretty much common use. And you see it's popping up down here in the corner. Now, the keynote among you may notice that this is a very similar in appearance to the Captivision Plus software. And that is because they, in fact, are produced by the same manufacturer and just reskinned for the two different companies. So, in terms of use, usage and function and everything like that, the softwares are both very similar. All right, um, we're going to go ahead and close this out and close that up. And as you can see, we've uh, installed all of our software. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us by phone or email, and uh, we'd be more than happy to help. Um, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching, and have a very nice day.